Jarvi updates. What's going on in Jarvi in September that you guys should know about? We're going to talk about that in this video and give you guys some tips and tricks if you still can't get out of the blocks that are going on. So as we know, guys, for the last three months, Instagram has been actively attacking the automation community. Uh, they do this every year, never really kind of on this scale. But Jarvi has been consistently weekly, bi-weekly rolling out updates that have helped us along the way. So the Jarvi team hasn't abandoned us. They are actively combating Instagram as well and releasing updates that can help us get our accounts back running. 95 to 98% of my accounts are hitting the daily limits. August was a great month and I do believe that Instagram has finally let up. I feel like they probably think they have gotten rid of these spammers and the beginner level automators and are finally starting to give up a little bit on the consistent updates that they had coming out in June and July. Now there still is a few issues on the platform as far as temporary blocks and account compromises. So let's hop into Jarvi so I can show you guys a few options and a few updates that Jarvi's been rolling out that could help you along the way. All right, so pulling up the Jarvi software, if you go into the dashboard and click on what's new, this is where you will find where Jarvi will inform you on the updates. So if you didn't know that these updates were automatically happening, this is where you'll find them, the date that they're released, and information about what was in the patch. All right, so as we could see, Jarvi did release an update on September 8th. I think today's the 13th, so it's been, you know, five or six days since that update. But I just want to go through and show you some of the features that they've added to help us kind of get out of temp block loops and account compromises. So in this particular update, Jarvi added... Um, a few key features for Instagram, one being the story viewer. If you're replying to story views, which is actually a really ninja way to maximize um, your story view followbacks, if story viewer is becoming super saturated. Some of you may have noticed that you post a story now and there's like 100, 200 random influencers in there using story viewer. It's actually just really not as effective as it was before. I don't use mass story viewer. When I use story viewer, I just use it to view the stories of people that I've followed and use it to view the stories of people that I'm following to make my settings human-like. So they've introduced this feature in where it'll limit the maximum number of replies per user. That way, if you're viewing 500,000 stories a day, you're not replying to 5,000 people and getting your account disabled. Another big thing I wanna to talk to is the use only embedded browser option. That is a huge option because as we know, the API is really messed up right now. Jarvi has said within the next couple of weeks, they should have an update that fix a lot of the API issues but for right now, those of us that are running automation, you know, perfectly are using the embedded browser. It's the only thing that works. It's the only reason why we're still using Jarvi to begin with. So going into the social profiles tab and clicking on one of your profiles and coming down and showing advanced profile settings, you'll notice that Jarvi has added a few key features to do with the embedded browser. Uh, a couple of them being, you know, using only embedded browser to follow, using only the embedded browser to unfollow, using only the embedded browser to like, using only embedded browser to comment, uh, the logouts from the embedded browser when it gets temporary blocked. Now the feature I wanna point out right now is number one, use the embedded browser instead of the API to go and verify your account, which is gonna help you uh, with less email verifications and less API blocks when logging in. If you're interested in learning how to properly log in the account, properly use the embedded browser, I teach all of this inside Instagram Gorilla Tactics and I've linked that below so you can take advantage of that if you want. The main thing here being use only the embedded browser. Do not use the API. A lot of tools and configurations won't work. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you are only running off the embedded browser, you are unable to scrape sources. So you're able to do the follows, do the likes, and do the comments, and do the DMs, but you're not able to find the users to do that to. All your source scraping is done through the API. So one thing that I teach inside Instagram Gorilla Tactics is how to set up accounts that will specifically feed the accounts running all, only on embedded browser. That way you'll constantly have sources to follow without using any API actions. And that's one way I've gotten around client accounts that just want to find users by geotags. So if you are working with a restaurant, if you're working with a, a brick and mortar shop that's in a certain location and they want to follow or find users um, in a geographical location, that's a heavy load on the scrape tool. So one thing is to have that scrape account that's scraping those users and then sending them over to uh, your main account that's just doing the follows, just keeping the actions on the embedded browser. That way, if they're using their phone, it's only logging into device IDs. Another issue you guys should be looking into is treating your action blocks as temporary blocks. That way, um, you can suspend the tool for a minimum amount of time. I recommend 20 to 25 minutes. That way, you can go through and kind of, you know, clear out those blocks that are have, that are happening, making sure it's logging in and logging out and kind of resetting that. Um, another thing you could do is, you know, be clearing the cookies, but I advise against that because that could set off an account compromise. 
Going into your main settings and choosing embedded browser, one thing that I wanna point out to you guys, if you're using the embedded browser to do all of your actions, it's going to take up a lot of uh, computer performance. You know, I'm running like 100 accounts on one of my PCs and the thing sounds like a 67 Chevy, you know, when it's performing all these EB operations. Constantly pulling up and closing embedded browsers, you know, it takes up a lot of your computer usage. So if you go into the embedded browser tab inside of your settings, you can click this option right here that says keep a low frame rate for the embedded browser when not visible and that should um, increase your computer performance. So if you're running a VPS, that's a little bit lower end, uh, you know, one of the ones that's only built for 10 accounts, 30 accounts, and it's really laggy and you're going to switch over to all embedded browser because it's basically, you know, the only thing that works. This will make sure that that computer is running a little bit smoother and you won't have much lag. Now, something that I haven't used but that is there is force kill embedded browsers. Um, as you can see, Jarvis says right here, it's experimental used when the embedded browser processes are not correctly killed. So if you have a bunch of embedded browsers running in the background, it's really eating up your uh, PC. That is an option for you to choose. I haven't used it. Um, my computer is high end, so and the, all the servers I buy are high end. So I make sure because I'm doing client management that I have the tools to keep working. So guys, just a quick video update for you now. If everything is running fine for you, I wouldn't recommend going in here and changing anything. You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But if you are still unable to do one action, couple actions without getting blocked, it's time to go in and troubleshoot, change some options, and to keep testing. Once again, if you can't figure this out, uh, you are free to take advantage of Instagram Gorilla Tactics, where I actually teach people how to get their automations working again. And that is going really well. Got a bunch of students in that course right now learning. You can also hire my company, AE Growth, to grow your Instagram account for you if you don't want to figure that all out. And another thing is to make sure you guys are running on 4G mobile proxies. Pretty much the only thing working right now, unlimited bandwidth 4G mobiles. I've linked my sources to that below. I hope you guys have had a great week and I will see you on the next video.